Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Vader Gaming 2019. And today we're looking at an all-time classic RPG, Suikoden 2. Now, there are actually five games in this series. I've beaten one and two, played majority of three, never touched four or five. But we're going to jump into two and uh, check it out. All right, name our hero who is spinning uncontrollably. Sure. Eh, good enough. Determine. This is actually something cool, is you can load data from the original Suikoden. And you can do this with 2 as well, which is impressive, because 2 is a PS2 game loading from PS1 save. I don't know if 4 or 5 do it, but... This happens at least up to three. And no, I don't have any saved out of the load. Been many years since I've played these. I love the sprite work in these games, though. Eric, you changed already? You're sure in a hurry. Me too. I thought about going back to Kiaro. And I couldn't wait to get out of that uniform. Hey, Eric. Nanami is probably waiting for you to come back. Huh. You're her only family since Master Ginkaku died. If not for this war. So anyway, should we go to sleep soon? Or do you want to get some fresh air? Looks like a nice night. Yeah, let's go outside. Okay, I'll go with you. Joey joined the party. Joey, Jowie. It's gonna go Joey. It's got an awkward W. Can I look at stats or anything? Oh, there we go. Yes. What do we have in settings? Yeah, let's crank up message speed. I want the non-transparent window, thank you. Makes things easier to read. The rest of that's fine. Formation, that's fine. Strength. Okay, strength is status. Runes, we don't have any. Equipment, basic. And we have a couple of items. We have... All right, so they have assigned other items. It's been a while since I've played Suicode. Suicode and Suicode. People pronounce it so many different ways. I typically try to stick to Suicode and... I get thrown off on occasion. Eric, Joey, listen to this. It was my turn to watch tonight, but the captain said forget it. It's the peace agreement, I guess. Yeah, peace agreement. What's going on in here? You two. Where are your uniforms? S sorry Well, I'll forget it this time. Go back to your tent and go to sleep. Yes, yes, sir. Ah, oh, we got in trouble. What about this tent? Can I get around there? Ah, there's the sprint button. Okay. How y'all doing? Alright, that was not helpful. We started a fight. 
Those two were always arguing, but I understand both of them. Really? Because I don't. I'm at a total loss here. There you go, break it up. And just goes right back to sleep. Take that this is a common occurrence. I'm stuck on a tree. Hi, anything happening out here? No. Can I leave? I can. Let's get some action going. We'll just explore a bit. I can't imagine these guards have too much to say. This looks like it'd lead to something. It didn't. That's disappointing. Alright, how about down here? There we go. Hey! Well, that was suspicious. Don't go too far, Captain... Road will get mad again. Anyway, don't worry. We're going back to Kiaro Town tomorrow. But it was suspicious. Alright, well, we saw that, so I guess that's what we needed to do. Let's just go to sleep. In the tent, please. Okay, let's go to sleep. Yep, sleepy time. You know, this is some weird ASMR, but okay. Surprise attack! Surprise attack? But what about the peace treaty with the city-state? Did you hear, Eric? We'd better check it out. Yes, I heard. You just told me. And you joined my party again. I didn't even know you left. Oh, good. Everything's on fire. Eric, Joey. Captain Road. What is it? It's a surprise attack by the city-state. They've broken the peace agreement. The scum! It looks like we're surrounded. Take the mountain path to the east and save yourselves. Hurry! Let's run, Eric. We can't die here. Nanami will be all alone. Is the mountain path the one we took, like, just a minute ago? Seems to be. Onward. To survival. Not exactly glory, but survival. Ah, it hurts. Mommy. Don't worry. I'll save you. We're pals, right? Alright, good luck, guys. Every man for themselves. Wait a minute. What is it? Don't you think it's strange? The only way out is through these woods. The enemy must know that, too. The enemy might be waiting in the woods to ambush us. Let's go back. Let's tell this cap to Captain Road. Alright. It, it just loves making me run the same path. It's just weird. Oh, they didn't make it. Alright, good, good try, guys. Everybody died behind us. It's just as we planned, Prince Luca. Everyone fled east through the woods. The ambush worked perfectly. <laughs> All poor victims of the state's betrayal, eh? I wish I had joined the ambush. All I've had to fight lately is that old man. I'm getting rusty. Yes, I mean, no... No, Prince Lucas' swordsmanship is truly unmatched. My men would l I would look like fools. Yes, well, the young men served their country well enough. 
Now we don't need a peace treaty with those state weaklings. I'll prove that they're no match for the power of Highland. I agree, sir. With Prince Luca in command, Highland can finally earn the glory it deserves. What, what the hell? Let's get out of here. You're right. But if we go east, we'll be killed. That leaves the cliff to the north. Maybe we'll be able to escape if we climb up the cliff. Run north. Yeah, we're gonna stealth north. I'm going to assume it means... Oh, good. So we have to run right past them. Oh, they didn't notice. All right, well, that's good. Let's get out of here. Are you okay? You're not hurt? But why would the captain? You'll never learn the answer to that. You'll die here, victims of the state's surprise attack. Your future ends here. Captain? It's too bad. You two were promising soldiers. Now get them. Alright, we get our first taste of combat. So we have several things here. I don't know if we have Unite commands. Oh, we do. Do the buddy attack on all of them. Yes. Okay, got all but one. Yeah. And we got pants. Damn you. You persistent little punks. Stay there. I'll be right back. We should leave. <laughs> we can't keep this up forever. There's no other way. We'll have to jump for it. Yep, no other choice. Okay. If we make it, but somehow get separated, let's return to this spot. That way we'll be reunited. Promise me. Yes. Let's go. Now we're getting an intro sequence. Cool. Get some potential backstory, maybe. See what is what. Well, we got some sweet piano in the background. To see the boys training. I really love the animation in this game. You can honestly say because they went the 2D route, this is one of the few PS1 games that has aged well. That's true of most, like, 2D sprite work, though. At least from the 16-bit era onward. So for those not familiar with the Suikoden series, one of its key features is called the 108 Stars of Destiny, which refers to the fact there are 108 recruitable characters in each game. Now, they're not all combat usable characters. Sometimes they add to your base, because that's another one of the kind of tropes of the series. It's you get a huge base and you have to stock it with people, such as merchants and craftsmen and 
of course, combat uh, capable characters as well. With the battle system, you also have six characters in battle at a time, but they act in pairs. Just something I'll try to demonstrate if we get the opportunity. But yeah, it's a very interesting game once it gets going. There's a lot of missable stuff. So, all right, back to it. This punk is a waste of time. I wonder where he came from. Hey you, wake up already. I'll throw you in the river again. So, you're finally awake. Hey, can you say your name? So you can talk, huh? What the hell were you doing in the river? Did you slip? Yeah, we were attacked. State Army? What are you talking about? We just signed a peace agreement. I can't believe it. Huh? Are you a Highlander? I see. So you and I are enemies. I'm Victor, leader of the mercenary army and friend of the city-state of Jouston. Victor, are you having fun picking on that poor kid? What are you talking about, Flick? I wouldn't do that. I'm a nice guy. But anyway, what happened to the other one? It's no good. We lost sight of him. I hope he made it. Too bad. Okay, listen up, whoever you are. You're going to be my personal guest for a while. You may not find the accommodations too comfortable, though. Don't look so worried. We're not going to eat you or anything. Okay, let's get back to the fort. Music also really good in these games. It's a shame I have to talk over most of it just in case. This will be your room for a while. It's small and not too comfortable, but you'll have to live with it since you're a prisoner and all. All right, well, we are in prison. It gets pretty cold at night, so try to bundle up. I mean, you could have gave me a blanket or something. Come on. Good morning. So, you're the one they brought in last night. Huh, you're just a kid. I'm Pole. I'm going to watch out for you. After breakfast, you're going to do some work for us. After all, no work, no eat. Okay, um, what was your name? Oh, yeah. Anyway, look at this place. People around here are so lazy. The boss has no exception either. Anyway, I want you to push all the boxes up against the far wall like this. Whew, come on. Push all of them right up against the wall. Now, clean up the rope laying here. I'll be outside. Call me when you're done. Alright, so pushing tutorial. Just gotta walk into it for a bit. Alright, all nice and organized. I'm gonna do with this one. I'm just going to put it over here. Just nice and out of the way. And we'll clean up the rope. You got rope. Done. That's not where I put that box. 
Whoa, you did a nice job. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> well said. Anyway, it's time for supper. I'm sorry, this is all we've got. Rations have been tight lately. Look, food is food at this point. Good morning. You look well. Okay, I've got an important errand for you today. Listen up and remember, um... Go to the stock room and get two pairs of boots. Then get three flints at the blacksmith. And two bags of flour at the item store. I'll be waiting here, thanks. Uh... Is this the stock room? Yeah, what do you want? I've never seen you around here. Oh, a prisoner, huh? So what is it? Oh, that's right, boots. How many do you need? We needed two boots. Yeah, I gave them to you. Well, actually, he didn't specify whether we needed two boots or two pairs of boots. Well, we have two pairs anyway. Blacksmith, you want some flints? How many do we need? We need three flints. And we need the item store, which is not right there. I don't know which of these is the item store. Are you the item store? You want something from me, kid? <laughs> Come back in a few years and I'll be happy to teach you something. Oh my. Alright, that got... That got surprisingly flirty. There's the item store. Flower. Sorry we're out of flower. Now you'll have to go to... Rayube Village. Uh... That seems like an unnecessarily long trip. The door is locked. Well, what am I supposed to do with flour? I need it. I guess I go report that there's no flower. Since I can't leave the building. Aye. Okay, two pairs of boots. Wait, you said three flints. I see you were out of flower, huh? Listen, will you go to Ryube Village for me? Don't worry, it's not far. But you can't go by yourself. Someone will have to take you. Go and talk to Leona. I'll go and unlock the door. Alright, good thing we already met Leona. Hi, Leona. Hey, kid, what do you want? Someone to go with you? On an errand to Ryube, huh? Okay. Good, good. Good, good. What, Leona? What? You want Gingen? Or is food ready? Gingen, sorry to ask you to babies, but could you take this kid to Ryube Village with you? Gingen soldier. Gingen, not babysitter. Don't be like that. A fine kobold warrior like you could honor a lady's request. Ah, you are right, my lady. Let's go, boy. Follow Gingen. Ah, Gingen, where are you going? Gingen, take this kid to Ryube. Oh boy, really? Take me with you too. Tuda. Tada, Tuda. Are you finished doing Dr. Wan's chores? Yeah, I delivered the medicine. I've never been to Ryube, and Dr. Wan won't mind if I'm a little bit late. Grr, Gingen must babysit two children. Please, kind kobold warrior. Okay, just leave it to Gingen. Yeah. 
Alright, so Gingin has joined the party. And Tuta has joined the party. Tuta. Still don't know how to say that. Alright, let's take a look at them. Formation. Let's see, if I put, say, Tuta. Oh, can I not do that without an extra person? Okay, so we actually need four people in the party to form pairs. That was not the run button. So you're going with Gingen and Tada. If Gingen is with you, you'll be fine. Alright, Ryubei is northwest of here. You'll find it if you follow the road. Get some flour at the item store there. You won't need to pay for it. Well, good luck and don't get lost. Leave it to me. Gingen is best character. Square is not the run button. What is wrong with me? Hey, Eric. Tata, listen. It's a big world with lots of monsters out there. Be careful. Gingen, it's not a forest or a mountain road. There won't be that many monsters, right? Soldier must not be overconfident. Gingen is leader of this group. So now you call me Captain Gingen. Okay, Captain Gingen. Yes, Captain Gingen. Okay, everyone, here we go. Stay with me, the captain. Alright, so he said... That is not the... Okay, we can't run on the overworld. I assume it's just right here. Yep, Ryubei Village. Okay, we're here. Eric, Tuta... When we're done getting flour at the item store, let's have some fun. Yeah, fun. That looks like the inn. This might be the item store. Are you the item store? I assume not. You don't look like a store. Guess that's not a sign. Nope, there's the blacksmith. Ah, this must be it. Welcome. Hey, I know you. Right. Me, Kobold Warrior, Gingen. Now Captain Gingen. What can I do for you today? Huh, what? Oh, flower as usual. Just a moment. I'll put it on your bill as always. Okay, we go back now, Eric Tuta. I want to look around some more. Yeah, yeah, we'll look around. I kind of want to see what's going on in the shop. Hey, right, what kind of armors you got? Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot we found some pants. We got tunics, robes, leather hats, bandanas. We're not going to bother buying anything. I do want to equip those pants, though. Must be an accessory. No? Ah. It goes in a very specific slot. Sure. Uh, we'll show off the uh, blacksmith too, since this is a rather interesting mechanic that's core to the series. Alright, so rather than up, uh, buying new weapons, you just constantly upgrade your current weapon. So for Eric here, we have the Twin Fang, which is level 1 with an attack power of 5 and has no rune attached. It costs us 300 potch, which is the currency, to upgrade it. So if we accept it, see it's now level 2 with an attack power of 6. And the upgrade cost is now 600 potch. And the cost will keep increasing. And So that's how that works. I think it does cap out eventually. I don't remember at what level, though. 
and if I'm not mistaken, it might at some point start requiring materials. Don't remember. All right, let's head back to town, or back to our fort. All right, let's see, what can we do? Oh, let me go back. Also, we have the run, bribe, and auto commands. And bribe, we can attempt to pay them to leave us alone. Auto battle will do exactly what it sounds like. Okay, nobody has a rune, so we'll have you attack. Have you attack. Yeah, just everybody attack. Alright, one down. Take care of these fur furs. Could have just auto battled right there since there's only one target. Alright, let's cash in this flower. Hi. Alright, so back to exactly where we came from. Good, good. Alright, that's all of it. See you. I have to go soon too. Goodbye, it was fun. Alright, I'm gonna eat now. How do you like your food today? I told the cook to give you extra. You've been working really hard. Here's today's chore. You see that oil spilled all over the floor? Wipe it with the rag like this. It's a good sound effect. Can you wipe it up like this? I'll come take a look later. I want it sparkling clean. Sure. Did it. Forgot this game has a fairly slow start. It's also not been clear how much oil there is spilled or exactly where. Y'all spill any oil up here? You did, you animals. Yeah, how about upstairs? Ah. Place is a mess. Oh, sup, Flick. Eric, wasn't it? Sorry, we couldn't save your friend. Alright, good chat. There's Victor. Haha, <laughs> we're in his bed. Huh? You're helping out. Thank. Hey, work hard, okay? These are the most polite captors. What's out here? Any oil out here? No. Good. So is the oil limited to inside the building? Or do I know need to go outside to clean up oil? Never mind, door is locked. And one last inspection. Aha. Didn't notice this little cubby hole here. There's nothing in it, but I noticed it. Well, I guess that's it. We don't see any more. Wow, the floor looks great. You've got talent. Of course. Huh, I like you. You have spirit. Okay, today's chores are done. About that oily rag, well, just toss it out somewhere. Come on, let's save. Let's have supper. Great job, you must be pretty tired. Heh, <laughs> you're an interesting kid. We're making friends. Hey, it looks like somebody snuck in here. 
If you're here, answer me. Oh, hey, it's Joey. Eric, thank God. I'm going to get you out of here. Are you okay? I'm so relieved. Let's get out of here before the soldiers come. Yeah, reunited with her buddy. Flee. Flee. Oh, well, that didn't last long. Okay, that's far enough. Give yourselves up before you make us adults mad. We, we're outnumbered. Now you can start by telling me who you are. All right, we'll start with your name. Joey. Joey of Treaties. Joey, okay. Since you came to rescue Eric, I can assume you're a Highlander. That's right. There can be only one. I see. You're the other one. The one who we lost in the river. Now that you mention it, I never did hear how you managed to wind up in that mess. Well, that's... Eric said something about a surprise attack by the state, but the state army hasn't moved since the peace treaty was signed. So what the hell happened? Truth is... Uh oh This doesn't sound good. Luca Blight. I've heard of him, but... Anyway, what were you planning to do after you rescued Eric? After I rescued Eric, I was planning to go back to Kiaro Town with him. So are you still planning on trying to escape? Yes. I applaud the honesty. Hmm. Well, you can just stay put in the cell for a while. We'll give you food and a place to sleep. Yeah, now we got a chore, buddy. Sorry, I couldn't rescue you after all. After that, I woke up in a village called Toto. I'd been found by a little girl who brought me back to her home when, or where they mended my wound. I heard a rumor that a young man was being held prisoner uh, here and... So I came to save you. Sorry. Sorry, I know this food isn't too good, but try to eat it all. Eric, I don't blame you for trying to escape, but please don't do it again. The boss will let you out of here soon enough. Excuse me? Could I please have a spoon? A spoon? For your soup? Aren't we the fine noblemen? Wait a minute, I'll get you one. Chowing down. Do you want my carrots? It's just about time. Let me see. Where are you holding? Are you going to try to escape? Of course. They won't expect us to make a run for it so soon. Hmm, let's see. Flint, oily rag, rope. Excellent. This would do just fine. But first we have to get out of here. Just bend this spoon like this. All right, it's open. They won't catch us this time. And they catch us again. Or not. Phew, I'm all tired out from that. The door is locked. Give me that rag and that flint. I'll just light this. Huh? What's that smell? Ah! Okay, let's go. 
I assume we're gonna go cl climb down from the balcony or something. Must be a way out. Give me that rope of yours. Okay, good. I'll go first. Eh. Rope. Deployed. Freedom. Oh, the night of the attack. When I think about Captain Road and that man he was talking to, it might be dangerous in Kiaro. But I still want to go back. Your sister Nanami is waiting for you there, too. She's probably worried about you. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, that's where we grew up. We can't forget it so easily. Alright, and since we've made our escape, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the video for today. So this has been a very quick look at uh, a small snippet of Suikoden 2. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time for another sequel. See you then.